it's beer o'clock on real ale craft beer today we've got a beer from anspach and hob day and this is the ordinary bitter i've i said it in the thumbnail i've never been more excited for an ordinary bitter because these guys brew some fantastic fantastic beers they really do one of my favorite breweries in the uk their stout is terrific really good uh, I drank a really good lager from them recently. Do I have a can around here? Oh, it's, it's, it, oh here it is. Here's the beer mat there. And spatula lager. And if you can try that, try that. It's fantastic. Uh, they're based in London. This is a 3.4% ABV bitter. It's even got the word smooth on it. They're going for that kind of... They're probably going for the Boddington's market, the John Smith's market, the Tetley's market, but not just in a way that like, oh, let's just throw any old beer at it. Let's make it really good. Let's throw a cat amongst the pigeons here and make a really good ordinary bitter at 3.4% ABV. So without further ado then, let's get this beer out into a glass. Wow, it's even got that. Ooh. <laughs> These things happen. Nothing on mop and bucket won't sort out. It even had that kind of gushing. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's got that kind of cream flow 1990s feel about it. Reebok tracksuits and. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the 90s now. Sega Mega Drives. Super Nintendos. It's got that vibe about it. Who was singing songs back then? MC Hammer was, was early 90s, wasn't he? Prodigy, that sort of thing, music-wise. It's got that kind of vibe about it, the 1990s smooth vibe. Everything was... If you're wondering what I'm talking about now, everything... Most most bitters back then, uh, John Smith's, Boddington's, you see TV adverts all over the place regarding, regarding these beers. Um... They were synonymous with working man's clubs. They were synonymous with with, with, with your chain pubs. Um, and then all of a sudden, kind of Doombar come along and uh, and changed all that. Doombar come along and just made a boring old bitter and, and got rid of all of these boring old cream flow beers. Um, this one will not be boring, though. This one, this one will be brewed. Um, to a very good quality. So we got a two finger thick white head. Um, I'll be able to show you the beer properly rocking it back and forth, but it's got that lovely kind of like nitrogen look to it. It's a copper colored bitter. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, really kind of full on. I'm having to dodge the dodge the puddle. Full on lovely, slightly roasty, slightly toasty, biscuity, bready, nutty, best bitter. It smells absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Simply stunning, simply stunning beer, 3.4% ABV. The challenge must have been on for the brewery, they must have thought about it, they must have thought about kind of classic styles that that really kind of worked in the UK and how to recreate them, 
how to how to better them. So this stout was a better version of Guinness. This 3.4% ABV nitro beer is much better than John Smith's, much better than Boddington's. I, I think it's quite an exciting thing to do. It's a really exciting exciting thing to do is to is to come out and because they're on the wane anyway. Nobody really drinks John Smith's anymore. Nobody really drinks Boddington's anymore. Nobody really drinks Worthington's anymore. <coughs> they're on the downward spiral. Why not catch catch these beers on their downward spiral and, 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 and capture some of the market? Because there must be some people out there. There must be some people out there that want to drink these kind of like classic bitters. This is a classic bitter though that has been brewed to a real high quality. It's really quite nutty, biscuity, bready, hoppy, hoppy and fruity. It's got this kind of like mixed dark berry fruit flavour coming through on the beer. A little bit of bitterness there as well. Good, it's really good. I mean, I mean, this is batch to batch. I'm sure if I had another batch of their beer, um, they'll get on top of the fact that it cracked on the on on the floor a little bit over a bit of an overflow of the pour. But that that that'll happen. That'll happen with craft brewers. I always open my beer over the sink anyway. It's not much of a big deal for me, you know. Mm. I used to drink pints of this stuff when I first when I, I left the army and I, I worked in a pub the Royal Hotel in Barry um, they used to sell Worthington cream flow in there and it was about 3.4 3.6% I used to drink about 6 pints of it after work It's got that same kind of cream flow, flow flavour to it. Have a look at the beer as I rock it back and forth. Have a look at the quality of that beer. It looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? That head retention is great. All nitro infused beer. They blow some nitro through the nitrogen through the beer, and it kind of creates. I'm not. I'm not a scientist. It kind of like. I think it makes the carbonation really small and because it makes the carbonation really small the carbonation is able to kind of stick together and create a great head and you can see it there as you rock it back and forth you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass but they've obviously they've obviously had a, a lot of success with their london black their london black in a can they've had a lot of success there and they probably thought to themselves how can we do it again type of thing how can we, how can we kind of like, and of course, I can't believe nobody's thought about it before. Nitro smooth bitter, low ABV, pretty good. The original session beer, ordinary bitters formed a cornerstone of English drinking culture, perfectly balanced between malt sweetness and hot bitterness. Our interpretation is brought up to date with the use of US Chinook hops and packed in a widget can for extra smoothness. Delicate hop aromas of pine, spice and dark fruits are followed by a smooth velvet palette with cascading notes of biscuits and caramel. It's really good. It's it's really, really good beer. Um, I am going to take a mark off with it pouring on the floor. Um, I would have given it a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, of course, always honest with you viewers out there. Um, there's no point in me... It, Oh yeah, 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 let's not take the mark away. Take a mark away, a bit of beer went on the floor. Let's say you had a cream rug and you opened this over a cream rug. You're probably going to be a little bit disappointed. And that's the point. That's why you tune into these videos, because we're always honest with our, with, with our reviews. So 8 out of 10, thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.